Welcome to Pacific Volkswagen. I'm here to, today to show you the 2016 Passat SEL. First off, it's one of the only cars in the world that actually starts off with the energy of your hand. I'm kidding. It does have a remote start though. The front of the vehicle is equipped with LED headlights and the rear tail light is also equipped with the LED lights as well. Now let's take a look at underneath the hood to see what this car has to offer. So here we have the 1.8 liter turbo engine, 170 horsepower, 184 pounds of torque. On top of the hood, we redesigned it this year with the extra lines to make it a lot more aerodynamic. It's efficient in the way that it's been formed with the lines and the shapes. Also, if you see here, there's no welding on the side of the actual B-pillar. The top of the car to the side of the car, it's laser welded from the front all the way to the back. You have a laser line welding, it holds the entire form and rigidity of the car in case of a front, back, or side impact. Coming to the back of the car, one of the cool features that I really like about this car is the ability for the trunk to open up by just kicking underneath the bumper and throwing whatever you have from your hand inside the trunk. Now that we got a great look at the outside of the Passat, let's take a look at the inside and take it out for a spin. With the 1.8 liter turbo that's built into the car, it's very, very responsive. Whenever I press on the accelerator, it responds very smoothly to what I want it to do. What we're gonna try right now is called the turning radius test on the vehicle. This is one of the best in its class. The front wheel base, we've given it an extra 10 degree turn. So it's a 37 degree cut. So what this does is if I go all the way around with this vehicle, even though it's a very long four door sedan, not only do you end up in the same spot, but the amount of room that it took for you to do that is very, very minimal. One of the neat features in the 2016 Passat SEL is the ability for it to do the park assist feature where it parallel parks or horizontally parks the vehicle by itself. It's located right by the gearbox when you press that button. So it's telling us at this point to move the vehicle forward so it could sensor the vehicles that are right next to us. And when it's done picking it up, it'll indicate to you when you should put the car in reverse. It will control the steering wheel to fit the car exactly where it's supposed to go in. All you're controlling is the braking of the vehicle to control how fast you want it to back up into the spot that it's supposed to go into. It'll tell you when to put it forward. It controls the steering wheel. And it gives you that beep signal. That means the park assist has ended, but the car is in a perfect parallel park position. Overall, I would say this car is something that every single person should give a chance by driving it. <laughs> So one of the key features uh, in this year's lineup is the ability for our vehicles to do what's called App Connect. Um, and I'll show you what Android Auto looks like on the screen of the car. So when you plug this in, on the screen it'll say connecting to your device. So after a few seconds, the actual screen is taken over by your, by your phone screen or your phone's capability of doing things. When I press and hold on to this for three seconds, navigate me to 14900 Hendry Avenue, Hawthorne, California. Navigating to 14900 Hendry Avenue, Hawthorne. In 300 feet, turn right to stay on Hendry Avenue. This will be my home screen for my Android Auto. And you could use my scroller down here to see my recent missed calls and also be able to pull up my maps right from here. If I have any missed calls, it'll pull up right there. If I want to respond to text messages, I'll be able to do it right here from the command screen of the, of the car. One, any of the menus that you see on the bottom of the radio kind of hide themselves as soon as you put your finger away. As soon as you put your fingers close to it without you touching it, there's a sensor on the bottom of the radio that kind of picks it up, okay? And it brings up the menu to whether it be the radio or whether it be the navigation system. Play music. Okay. I just feel like, you know, they really did a great job of redesigning the car. It, they made it into what's I feel like is an artistic piece from the outside. It's been a pleasure showing you guys the new, brand new 2016 Passat SEL. I want to invite you guys to come on down and test drive this vehicle yourself so you can experience everything that you guys learned today. 